on Twitter on December 24th, 2019, you said one of my favorite quotes from my dad is if people don't think your dreams are crazy, then you aren't dreaming big enough. So you dug you, in deep. <laughs> well, you joined Twitter in 2016, I believe. Uh, <laughs> a little late, Henri, a little late. But um, I'm assuming you got these big dreams, these the dream big mentality or this dream big worldview from your parents. So give us a little bit of history if you could. Yeah, so that quote, I what was it? It was probably like April of 2018. I called my dad because um, an investor passed on it. It's like one of my close friends' dad who's kind of a mentor to me. Mm. And I was like very upset. I was like, this like doesn't make any sense. I've known this guy for, at that point, eight years. He doesn't believe in me. Yeah, he doesn't believe in me. Uh, eventually, he actually came in. <laughs> um, but when I called my dad, like that's what he said because I was really down on myself. And that's kind of like the early the fundraising early on. It's just mm. people you thought would come in don't, and that really hurts. Um, and for my dad, you know, he was the one who was born in Haiti. He moved to the U.S. in, in 2013 um, and eventually became an orthopedic surgeon. And so, like, you know, I, when I wrote in my Harvard Business School essay was, like, if my dad, and he went to Harvard Medical School, mm -hmm. and my dad can grow up in Haiti and then grew up in New York and Queens um, in, in the 70s and end up at, at Harvard Medical School, like, why can't I end up at Harvard Business School? So, like, it, for me, it was more of a, and less of a motivation of, like, I'm going to go rags, you know, rags of riches, but more if my parents can go rags of riches, then, like, I got it. Like, I have to be able to get there because I've been privileged like mm -hmm. to have parents and a support system that my parents didn't have. Um, and so for me, it was always like a why, like why not um, situation. And my, my parents always just like instilled that in me. Though they both wanted me to be doctors my entire life. <laughs> Eventually, um, they, they became okay with me working on Wall Street. <laughs>